Metacognitive Strategies for Your Classroom. How can you get students thinking critically about the reading you assign? In this presentation, you'll learn four strategies to help your students become better readers. Stop and jot, talk to the text, text in the middle, double entry journal. These strategies emphasize slow, close reading of text, helping students dive deep into basic meaning while also analyzing, evaluating, and synthesizing these texts. Let's try these strategies with a few different texts. Every strategy is applicable to your subject area, so be thinking of how a text from your course could replace the sample we use here. Let's begin with Stop and Jot. The Stop and Jot strategy focuses student thinking with a specific question while reading a short passage. The strategy helps students process parts of a longer piece. After reading each chunk, students complete a quick write in answer to the focusing question. Imagine you have a challenging text, such as a few lines of Shakespeare. Ask students to read a few lines and then stop and jot their answer to this question. As you read this first paragraph of the prologue of Romeo and Juliet, think about this question. What is happening in fair Verona? Now, stop and jot your answer. Now you try it. Pause the presentation so you can stop and jot. What is happening in fair Verona? Look at what you jotted. Did your answer contain any of these words? A grudge? Two households fighting? Bloodshed? As you read the next lines of the prologue of Romeo and Juliet, think about this question. How will the story of Romeo and Juliet end? Now stop and jot your answer. Now you try it. Pause the presentation so you can stop and jot. How will the story of Romeo and Juliet end? What did you write? Did your answer contain any of these words? Death, suicide, end to fighting or strife? So, how did that stop and jot strategy work for you? What challenging texts would be good to chunk in your classroom to ask students to read carefully with a focusing question and then to share their answers? The talk to the text strategy coaches students to dialogue with the text. Students can write and sketch in the margins or use sticky or electronic notes. Students work on comprehension and integrating the text ideas with their own thinking. The talk to the text strategy encourages many types of student annotation. One type is summary comments and the other type is questions. Through these two approaches, students develop a stronger understanding of the ideas discussed in the text and how they are organized. Let's start with summary comments. When summarizing, students can Paraphrase, sketch images, map the concepts, sketch cycles, flowcharts, or feedback loops, build a timeline, outline main and subordinate ideas. Let's try it ourselves. Imagine you've given your students a 1996 speech by Nora Slatkin, a CIA intelligence officer. You're going to ask your students to summarize her speech by paraphrasing or outlining each paragraph in under 20 words or fewer while also annotating the text. Stop the presentation and try this yourself. How would you paraphrase or outline this paragraph in 20 words or fewer? Perhaps you made a list with these key words. Women in the CIA. Introduction. Controversial topic. Give a balanced view of women in intelligence. Students may find a variety of synonyms and listing methods to capture the key ideas in 20 words or fewer. They may or may not know how to abbreviate words, replace words, or reorder words, which are three sub-skills of paraphrasing. They may not know how to create a hierarchy with outlining. You can teach them such skills if students do not have them. Try the same strategy with the next two paragraphs. How would you paraphrase or outline these? Pause the presentation and walk in the shoes of your students. Perhaps you made a list with these keywords. CIA women are not equal to James Bond. 
not just old white males from Ivy League universities, many women employed. You may have tried to use your own words, restating rather than copying, and tried to capture the main points. You can explain to your students how paraphrasing is not copying and how summary involves finding the best words to capture the core meaning of a larger excerpt. These are key skills for any subject area. The talking to the text strategy also encourages many types of student questions, allowing students to engage analytically with the text. They can ask comprehension questions, predictive questions, challenge questions, argument questions, cause and effect questions, and connection questions. Stop the presentation now and pose one of these types of questions about Nora Slatkin's speech. What questions did you want to pose? Here are some of ours. Comprehension question. What was happening in 1996 that inspired her speech? Predictive question. Are things better now for women in the CIA than they were then? Challenge question. How white is, was the CIA? Will she prove that the CIA is also racially diverse? Argument question. How will she prove that things are truly better for women in the CIA? Cause and effect question. What impact did her speech have? Connection question. Are there any famous CIA women that I know? How did this talk to the text strategy work for you? Do you see how a student can identify the main ideas of a text while engaging on a deeper, more personal level? This will allow a student not only greater comprehension and improved recall, but also deeper understanding at higher levels of Bloom's taxonomy. These next two strategies take the approaches of summary comments and analytical questions and apply them to different formats, text in the middle and the double entry journal. The text in the middle strategy separates student thinking in two outer columns that surround a short, well-selected piece of text. In the left-hand column, students list the key points, main ideas and subordinate ideas. In the right-hand column, students brainstorm their questions, connections, and problems with this text. You can provide focused questions in the right-hand column or leave it open-ended. The questions can be the same types as the talk to the text questions. The double entry journal strategy allows students to record information from text, a science diagram, a picture, a data set, etc. in the left-hand column and then show their thinking in the right-hand column. You can leave the right-hand column open-ended or provide a set of focused questions. Those questions can be the same types as the talk to the text and the text in the middle questions. Remember, understanding happens when students slow down to read carefully and don't just skim. As they practice these skills, they will pick up speed and confidence in both grasping core ideas while also trusting their ability to ask meaningful questions. Now you've seen four potential strategies to try in your classroom. Which of these four strategies seem best suited for your subject? Why? Think about ones you might use in your teaching. To get started, head to the Classroom Applications Handout. It provides definitions of these strategies in detail and also shares specific classroom procedures you can adapt to your subject and your students.